I'm Andrew Ribemy, and I'm here today with Hannah John Common to talk about Ant-Man and the Wasp. Dad, are you seeing this? Hope, get out of there! I gotta do something. Uh, so first of all, Hannah, how are you today? I'm very well, thank you. Thank you very much for being here with us. Oh, it's a pleasure being here. Thank you for having me. Uh, so my first question for you is, uh, you're playing Ghost in Ant-Man and the Wasp, the main antagonist of the film. How do you approach the role of being a villain versus approaching the role of being a hero, like Dutch on Killjoys? Uh, I approached the character like she is the hero. Um, yeah. I really did. I approached her that she's not the villain at all and actually everybody else are the bad guys and she has been wronged and she has this very clear goal and clear objective in the movie and a very desperate and yes selfish approach to it but <laughs> um but you know she is the threat to the heroes but uh no i i i, I approached the character and played her that that she's not the villain she is the antagonist <laughs> she sees herself as as the hero of her own story absolutely okay and now one thing i am very interested by is the the way that Ghost moves as a character, how you decided to embody Ghost. Yeah. Because obviously seeing the visual effects of this movie, a huge credit goes to the people who do the visual effects of it, but the way that she phases and moves, it's more than just visual effects. Yeah. How did you decide to embody this character? Because there seems to be a very specific movement that you've given her. Absolutely, I think it all, it all actually kind of starts with, you, when you put the suit on, mm -hmm. you go, oh, oh, I'm doing this with my body, this is cool. And, you know, I think as well, it's in the script as well, you know, kind of, who is she? What is her power? What What is the affliction? What What can she do? Why does she have the suit? Why is it designed like that? And then how, and then you kind of then, you know, you're then massaging that, that <laughs> physicality of who she is, and then you get the suit on, and then you're like, okay, here we go. And I absolutely adored what we did create because she did, I call it the kind of, Terminator ghost swag. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's a great description of <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. It's this level of fluidity that's also has Determination, a but yeah. Yeah, that's fun. Now, and with the visual effects of this, because there are moments where we see multiple versions of ghost. We see the primary version of you, and then maybe a couple of ghost shadowy versions of you. How did performing that go? Did you do multiple takes of this will be the shadow version of me that isn't really doing the dialogue? No, or? it was actually really freeing. Um, I got to just play the scene. Um, okay. I would play the scene, I would do the stunt. Um, the only thing that I would do again was the stunt mm -hmm. because I would be fighting the doubles and then suddenly it'd be like, okay, now by yourself. So oh, okay. I would then be punching <laughs> my yeah. imaginary friend mm -hmm. um, and it was it was very uh, that was fun that was that was a new thing for me <laughs> um, <laughs> and I was like okay yeah does this look okay um, but yeah no it, that was fun okay excellent and on on that subject of uh, of kind of imagining what it is that's happening in the scene when it comes to a big blockbuster like this that has a lot of a green screen post-production yeah. effects Obviously, it's there on the page to give you a description of what's going on. And a good director like Peyton, I'm sure, guides you through oh, absolutely. what you're supposed to be imagining. But when you did see the final product, is there anything that you saw that you're like, I was imagining that completely wrong while I was filming? Whether it be a giant <laughs> Pez dispenser Actually, or an no. Do you know building. what? Do you know what was very funny is Peyton would be running around like and going, okay, so there'll be these giant ants. <laughs> and they'll be doing that. And they'll be doing that. And can you imagine these giant ants? And he's laughing because he was even saying like he was running around playing these ants. And I was like, that's quite funny. I, I you know, I, I'm trying to imagine that. And I'm just all I imagine is like lots of like patents um, <laughs> as these ants kind of trying to like claw at, um, at me. But I, but then watching the for the film, I was like, oh, there's the giant ants. Right. Oh, there's Peyton. There's Peyton. There's Peyton. <laughs> there's Peyton. There's Peyton. Peyton. Peyton number one, two, three. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope everyone watches this film now and just imagines the ants as Peyton. I hope so as well. I really <laughs> hope so. Now, uh, another question for you is that in the in the comic books, Ghost is a character who sometimes is part of a team called the Thunderbolts. Yes. A team of villains who are trying to redeem themselves to a yes. certain regard. 
if at any point we were to see the Thunderbolts in the Marvel universe, <laughs> what other Marvel villains would you like to have as part of your team or any other Marvel villain actors that you'd like to work with? Well, uh, any other villain, okay, I'll, I'll call them the, uh, the anti-heroes. <laughs> um, I'd say, you know, I'd like to think that um, <laughs> Thanos is redeemable. <laughs> Okay. Hella from Thor Ragnarok. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I would also say... I'd, I'd say, I don't know, I think, I think we'd actually make a, a, a quite a badass trio. A lock, Lucky as well. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay, there okay. There you go. Yeah, you and, all, you and all the Thor villains. Me and all you the, and Thor, the Thor villains. Me, me and the Thor <laughs> villains. <laughs> all right, so the last question then that I want to ask you is that uh, most actors would consider themselves lucky to be in a Steven Spielberg movie, and they'd consider themselves lucky to be in their fourth season of a sci-fi TV show, and most actors would consider themselves successful to be in a Marvel movie. You're doing all three in the same year, and it's only June. Did you make a deal with the devil? Does your days have more hours in it than mine? How is it possible? Oh, my goodness. I actually don't know. Um, <laughs> have you foregone sleep completely? I have. I, what, what day is it? Um, <laughs> now, it's been such an incredible year, and, yeah, I am very, very very, very lucky and so honored to be part of so much. And to be part of so much that really means a lot to me and things that I love and I'm a fan of myself and I'm passionate about. Mm. Um, and yeah, you know, it's a lot of people saying, so what's next, what's next, what's next, what's next? And I like to take things as they come and, maybe, and keep as grounded as possible. Maybe because, vacation, maybe, maybe make maybe, that next. Yeah, yeah, I think just a <laughs> couple of weeks in Greece, I think, yeah. yes. Well, Hannah, thank you very much for being here. <laughs> and you. it's been such a wonderful year for you, well-deserved. And I hope many more years like this to come after a short vacation that's well-deserved. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. And everyone thank go you. see Ant-Man and the Wasp. You taught me that kick, remember? Yeah, great form. Those were the days. Whatever happened to us? Not the time, Scott.